Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to make your component dynamic. In this video I'll show you how to build a basic hero section for post using Jet Engine's new components feature along with twig templating enabled via the Timber plugin. We'll automatically pull in dynamic content like the background image, title and description from each post while keeping other settings such as the color palette or some additional text customizable per post. This way each hero section feels unique but still runs off a reusable template. Before we dive in don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials like this. First let me show you the setup I'm working with. I have several custom posts called courses. This custom post type has meta fields storing data like the course title, description, price and featured image. This is a dynamic data we typically display using dynamic widgets, elements or blocks depending on the editor used to build the template or listing. I'll be using Twig to build the components, so I've already installed and activated the Timber plugin. After the installation you should go to the Jet Engine dashboard and enable the Timber Twig Views toggle in the Performance tab. Now head to Jet Engine Listings Components and click Create New Component. Name your component and set the component view to Timber Twig. Very briefly I'll introduce you to what's where in the Timber Twig editor. First of all there are two input windows and a preview window. The first input window is where you write your Twig based component structure. This is where you lay out your HTML and the buttons above let you insert dynamic tags, filter and format their content and apply conditions. The second one, CSS, is for styling your component directly, targeting the classes you've assigned in the HTML window and controlling layout, colors, fonts, spacing and so on. To the right of these input fields there's a preview window. It shows any styling changes you make right away but for structural updates you'll need to click reload preview to see the effect. One important note, any dynamic data you insert into the HTML wrappers, like post specific info, won't show up here in the preview. That's because we're building a reusable component, not a post template. So until the component is actually placed inside a post it doesn't have any data to pull in. Anyway I'm going to keep working in the HTML and CSS input fields to build the structure and styling I have in mind. I want the hero component to have a background image, a shadow overlay to make the content more readable, a title, a description, a register button and an optional tag for additional information. Right now it doesn't include any dynamic post specific elements. I've just added some placeholder tags and an image in their place. Neither have I set up any content or style controls yet. These controls are what let you customize specific variables for each instance where the component is used. So if I were to input this component as is on the page or post, it will look exactly the same every time with no customization options, which kind of defeats the purpose of using a component in the first place. Let's add the dynamic data now. First I'll delete the current image tag. Then with the cursor inside the same wrapper I'll click the dynamic data button. In the pop-up I select Jet Engine Dynamic Data, set the source to metadata and choose the post meta field for the featured image. Next I'll click the Add Filter to Result button to insert a twig filter that transforms the raw image data into a proper image tag. In the filter area I click on Jet Engine Callback, choose Get Image by ID for the callback function lead the image size set to full and then click insert. Similarly let's insert dynamic information into the title and description wrappers by adding dynamic tags and linking them to the course title and course description meta fields. Unlike with the image we don't need to apply any filters here. Now let's move on to the register button. We want its label to include dynamic info about the course price, but we'll also use the conditional tags feature here. So if the price meta field is empty the button won't show up at all. First let's make that button dynamic. Instead of the dummy text I'll write register for and then add a dynamic tag that pulls in the value from the price meta field. At this point the button will show up no matter what, even if there's no price set. To change that I'll move the cursor just above the entire button tag and click the conditional tags button. In the condition pop-up I'll choose exists. Next I'll select Jet Engine Meta field from the drop-down, pick the price field and for return choose value, 
because we're interested in whether the price has a value, not just whether the field exists. After that, I'll hit apply and insert. Now in the Twig snippet that appears, there's a paste your HTML here message, and I need to move my button tag into that spot, either by copying and pasting it here, or moving the closing part of the condition behind the button wrapper. That's everything I wanted to show about inserting the dynamic data into the component. So let's move on to discussing the content and style controls. The procedure is quite simple. First you have to create controls which includes choosing whether they're for inputting text, an image, or assigning a color value to an element, naming the control and inputting the default value if needed. After that you insert control tags into HTML wrappers if it's a content control or into the CSS in the place where color values usually go if it's a style control. That will enable control over specific parts of the component when inserting individual components into posts. I also have a place for additional info at the bottom left corner, which I want to be filled in optionally for individual components. If it's left empty, I want the whole container with its styling not to be visible on the front end, which will require using conditional tags like the one we used before. So let's create a control. Press the settings button at the top right corner Choose Content Controls, then New Control, type a label and control name, set the control type to text, and leave the default value empty. Now in the HTML input window, let's first create a condition to show the value only when the control is used. In the wrapper where the value would usually go, insert a conditional tag where the condition is exists, and for field select component control value with the relevant control name. Next, we need to place the whole additional info wrapper inside this conditional tag, place the cursor inside the wrapper, click the dynamic data button, this time choose jet engine control component value, type in the control name in the relevant field and hit insert. Now let's work with the style component controls. Basically, I want to be able to control the overlay color around the text, the text color itself, to improve readability against the background image and the button color. So I create three different style controls with default values, which can be entered either as color names or hex color codes. Next, it's time to insert these controls into the CSS input window, right where the color values go for the elements we want customizable. To do that, click the var button above the CSS field and you'll see the style controls you just created. Assign each of the three controls to the relevant element classes, save the component and we're ready to insert it onto a post page. I'll start editing the first of my posts in the default blocks editor and choose to create a new template. Inside the editor, I'll search for the component we worked on by its name and insert it at the top of the post. In the component block settings, we'll see all our pre-made controls. Since this post background image is rather dark, I'll set the overlay color to white and the text color to black. The post price field does have a value, so the button will be visible, and I'll tweak its color option as well. As for the tag, I'll leave it empty. Now similarly, I'll insert the component for the second post. This one has a light colored image, so I'll pick the opposite set of colors for the overlay and text. There's no price value in this post, so no button will be shown, but I will add a text for the additional information control. Let's check the post on the front end now. So the first post where we inserted the component has a button with a custom color, dark typography and white overlay color. The overlay has 50% opacity, so the background image is still partially visible. The post specific content, like the background image, title, description and price are correctly displayed thanks to dynamic text set in the Twig editor. Since there's no text inserted into the extra information container, it's not visible. As for the second post, just as I planned, the conditional tags give the opposite result. The button is not shown in this design, but the extra info block is. 
These are simple tricks for creating and integrating components by mixing static and dynamic data. With Jet Engine's feature, you can customize individual components with content and styling. But you can always go back to the original component template to add new universal content or styling and even override the customization that were previously available for individual component instances. I hope my video helped you better understand component functionality and specifically building it with Timber Twig. Don't hesitate to post your questions, feel free to give it a thumbs up and sign up to become a member of the Crocoblock YouTube community. That's all for now, cheers!